As fashionable as it is to draw a very straight line between short-term letting and, and long-term accommodation, the reality is, is that the correlation is not as direct as, as is often sort of, you know, asserted. Um, that said, there are all sorts of places all over the world where we work um, with regulators um, who have implemented registration systems for purposes of balancing tourism, um, tourism generation and, and housing. The one I would point to in Europe, um, which has been very successful for us, um, has been Amsterdam and the Netherlands, which is one of the, the countries I look after. Um, they have um, a registration system. Um, it's a national framework that cities can then choose to opt into or not, so it's not compulsory, which means that for areas that um, don't have that issue of tension between tourism and, and housing pressures, they simply don't take the legislation if, if they don't need it. Um, it has The system itself has many of the features um, that, that we've talked about in our various submissions. You know, the system is... Um, you know, very low cost, it's digital, if you host, it's instant, so you get your, your number straight away. Our commitment is to publish those um, numbers, which we do, and we have a digital tool that we work with the cities, whereby if the city becomes aware of a listing that's non-compliant, they notify us and we take it down. Um, has that fixed housing pressures in Amsterdam? No, it has not, because the root cause of housing pressures are much more complex than the existence of short-term accommodation. However, I think what it does demonstrate is that it is possible to balance, um, balance the two competing priorities, that it is possible for platforms, for short-term letting operators, for hosts to work in partnership, collaboratively, constructively, digitally, um, with regulators, with authorities, and to bring in systems that are at their heart evidence-based, so then planning decisions that can be made are actually made on, um, from the perspective of understanding the type, the nature, the volume of short-term letting, and most importantly, the propensity of that accommodation to be released back onto the long-term um, market, because as has been said, a lot of accommodation is either not suitable or the owners just simply um, are not in a position to put it back on. Um, so we would point to that as a very, very successful example. As I said, we've been enthusiastic um, proponents of an EU-wide um, system and we will continue to advocate for that um, solution, but it can be done and we believe that it, we, you know, we can get it right in Ireland if we take some time and do it properly.